Hello, race fans, and welcome back to the More Freedom Series. Today, we have traveled to Charlotte for the Charlotte Roval 80. This is going to be race number 26 in the More Freedom Series Season 4, and the points race is getting really exciting, so let's go through the current top 10. Your points leader is the 20 of Adam B5000. Second will be the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. Third will be the 00 of Mudbone. Fourth will be the 95 of Zed Brunna. Fifth will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Sixth will be the 11 of T.C. Roberts. Seventh will be the 25 of JTM. Eighth will be the 10 of Scooter. Ninth will be the 799 of Mike Check. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. Let's check in on your team and chassis standings because those are also really close. So Douche Motorsports still leads the way over MBR. Third is going to be Aces to Zed Motorsports. Fourth will be Amish Buggy Racing. And rounding out the top five will be the Drop Bear Racing Team. Chassis standings look like this. Dodge has a commanding lead over Chevy, Toyota, and Ford. So that's a look at all things points here for this Charlotte Roval 80 here at the Charlotte Motor Speedway. And the crowd is getting ready to pile in. They're getting these cars dialed in. So I think it's about time. So let's go racing. As I get these cars fired up, let's go through your starting top 10 today. Starting on the pole will be the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days, and on her outside, the 420 of Queen of Hearts. Starting third will be the 13 of King of the Aces, and on his outside, the 34 of Super Snake. Starting fifth will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos, and on his outside, the 777 of Seabass. Starting seventh will be the 25 of JTM, and on his outside, the three of Geek Girl Games. Starting ninth will be the 71 of Kung Fu Beer, and rounding out your top 10, will be the 211 of Hogs. So that's a look at your starting top 10 today for the Charlotte Roval 80. Uh, the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days comes in starting on the pole here. This will be her, I believe she was on the pole for either Sonoma or for, I think it was either Sonoma or Watkins Glen and she won that race. So looking like Ice Cream is starting to get her road course legs underneath her like her sea legs but road course so but it's an all lady front row today as we got the 356 and the 420 starting out here on the front uh former teammates there for the 356 and the 420 as you know the ice cream some days has moved over to g3 motorsports kick of the aces starting there behind her the co-owner for aces to zed motorsports with the 95 of zed Brenna. And it should be an exciting race here today. We're going to have 22 laps of hopefully green flag action here today at the Charlotte Roval 80. We'll see how all these drivers handle this track here today. And it could be a wild, exciting race. It's a little bit warm. I think it's been the mid 80s, upper 80s here today in Charlotte. And they got the high banks and everything else as. You see the triple seven of Seabass starting right there behind his teammates. The 34 of Super Snake. Super Snake finished top five in Seabass top 10 last week after his Seabass's win two weeks ago. Ice Cream leading us down to take the green flag through this final chicane here onto the front stretch. Green flag is out and we are underway. Down into turn one they go. Looks like Ice Cream's got a little bit of a, a gap here on the 420 at Queen of Hearts with that 13 at King of the Aces. Trying to keep up on the outside line right now as Ice Cream dips down through the turn. Coda not able to get around his teammate, the, the 420 at Queen of Hearts as Ice Cream some days pulls out to a little bit of a lead right here. A couple of car lengths right now. So, ooh, got a little bit, somebody a little bit into the wall right there. That could have been the 34 Super Snake as he slows up. Back onto the high, sort of high banks here at Charlotte. They'll get these cars fired up down to the back stretch and into the back stretch chicane. Into that chicane, Ice Cream still leads it here. We're going to see if she can lead it on lap one. It looks like she's probably going to be able to. We're going to see if Queen can able to make up a little bit of, a little bit of uh, time here. But Ice Cream's got that car hooked up for G3 Motorsports. The Publix, nine lives Chevy there for G3 Motorsports. 
through the front stretch chicane, down to the front stretch, heading towards turn number one. Your leader on lap number one is the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. Let's bring up your timing and scoring. As always, top 10 will be on your left. Favorite driver scrolling across the top. Again, your leader on lap number one is that 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. They've kind of evened out all into, basically into a line right now. We'll see if we can catch up to anybody, get some action going on here as we see the 51 of AJM down to the inside of the 72 of Duchess. This is a battle for position as I think Duchess is trying to take that spot away from AJM. Here comes your points leader, the 20 of Adam B5000. He's trying to work to the back bumper right there of the 72 of Duchess. And uh, third place in points, you see the double zero of Mudbone battling. Oh, as we see the 49 of Jetman into the outside wall. We might have a caution here. We don't have a caution, but Jetman gets it refired as he heads down into the turn. So we saw Jetman slide and bounce off the outside wall there and cause some damage to his car. Rough break for the 49 of Jetman. Doesn't look like it's letting him slow it up. Not letting, it's not slowing him down. There we go. As he battles now, as we see the 660 of Garrett Miller must have had an incident as well as he now has the hood off the front of his car. We do have a caution on the track, folks. Caution on the track as here comes the beautiful Ranger Black Dodge Challenge pace car. 356 of Ice Cream Some Days is your leader right now. So that may have been a result of that contact between the 49 of Jet Man, the outside wall, and other things. So long pace lap here. So let's go ahead and go through and see what brought out that caution. Jetman very high through the turn here. I think he got up into the marbles here. Let's see what happens. You can see he's in the marbles, bounces off the wall, collects the 33 of Harvey Jones. Both of them go around. That, and the 666 of Bissell Peak gets in on the action there. So that's what will bring out your caution here today at the Charlotte Rover. Caution number one on the track. So caution number one on the track. Looks like the 34 of Super Snake is ducking into the pits to take some service. Uh, I'm not sure if he, I think we saw him tag the wall early going. Not quite certain on that, but I thought I saw him tag the wall about in the same spot that Jetman did. We're going to jump up there and see if anybody else is a taker for pit road. Do see a little bit of damage on the back end of that 33 of Harvey Jones. He's going to stay out. Looks like we do have some takers. The 999 of Deviant looks like he's got some damage on the right side. The 88 of NM is in. The 666 of Pistol Pete. Obviously, that 49 of Jetman is in. And the 34 of Super Snake. So, Super Snake down and away there. Maybe he had a little bit of damage. Looks like they're going to pound out the damage on the 49 of Jetman. Maybe just fuel for the 88. We did see that damage on the 666 of Pistol Pete. Uh, so they're probably jumping out. Oh, they actually just removed his hood here. So three of the Amish buggy racing vehicles into the pits this last time around. The 34 of Super Snake, the 666 of Pistol Pete, and the 80 or the 660 of Garrett Miller. Also a couple MBR drivers, the 49 and the 88, both pitting. Let's go through your current top 10 here. As this might be, we might have. It looks now lights are still on on that pace car. So let's go through your current top 10. Your leader is the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. Second's going to be the 420 of Queen of Hearts. Third will be the 13 of King of the Aces. Fourth will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Fifth will be the 777 of Seabass. Sixth will be the 25 of JTM. Seventh will be the 3 of Geek Girl Games. Eighth will be the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. Ninth will be the 8 of Moon Bunny. And running out your top 10 will be the 211 of Hogs. So it looks like we do have the one to go. Lights are off on that beautiful orange and black Dodge challenge pace car. Lean us down, take green flag again here at Charlotte. It's going to be that 356 of ice cream some days. She it's almost stacked up the exact same way it was before, uh, with the exception of Super Snake not being there. So we got the 420 on the outside and the 13 behind her for Aces to Z Motorsports. She's trying to do it here for G3 Motorsports as you see her car owner, G3 herself, about three cars behind her. 
Coming through the front stretch chicane. Green flag is out. We're back underway here at Charlotte. Down into turn one they go. The 420 on the outside. She slides it really wide. You see several drivers just slide along the wall there trying to give each other room. So Ice Cream battling it out right now with the 420 at Queen of Hearts. The Queen looks like she's got a good jump here. As Ice Cream slides to the outside, she's got the hammer down, down into the next turn. So taking over the lead right now is going to be that 420 at Queen of Hearts as a result of that caution flag. Ice Cream's going to keep battling here as the 40 of Veteran Chaos is trying to make a play as he's around the 13. Oh, Vet into the outside wall. Treacherous turn there as we saw Vet slide into the outside wall. Seabass off the pace as I'm not sure if he got into it with the 40 of Veteran Chaos. So Seabass off the pace right there. As we watch your leader, the 420 of Queen of Hearts and that Red Bull Toyota for Aces to Z Motorsports. She is trying to get another win under her belt here in the More Freedom Series. She's taken over the lead from the 356. JTM runs up into the fourth position now. And just to highlight, KFB has had a fantastic second half of the year right now. He's up to 10th in points. I think he lost a couple positions at after last week's race, but from being in the mid to lower 20s, in the first half of the season, he has now made that up in here into the second half. So we see Moon Bunny really wide right there. So Ice Cream is working to try to catch up to the back of the 420 of Queen of Hearts as we watch the 51 of AJM and the 72 of Duchess battling it out right now. On the track, this is for the 10th position as Moon Bunny currently in the ninth position as we watch Duchess on the outside here in it, or AJM down to the inside as they head into the turn. AJM with a little bit slow right there, kind of got a little bit loose out of the turn. That's going to allow that 72 of Duchess to take that position away. As we see the triple seven of Seabass, we, oh, he did clip that outside wall. So Seabass did clip the outside wall. He's battling right now with his teammate, the double zero of Mudbone who runs second in the point or third in the points he is currently in front of your points lead of the 20 of adam b5000 who runs in the 17th position frederick runs 23rd right now so let's just jump back up here to the front see what we got going on as the 420 at queen of hearts still leads the way here on a lap number six so i'm guessing probably they're probably trying to make this a one, one stop affair as it's about a two, two ish mile, 2.2, I think it was, is the official distance here at the Charlotte Roval. So they're going to try to make it a two stop affair here, to, or one stop affair here today at the Charlotte Roval, get that pit stop in, and hopefully these drivers get a good one and get out of the pits and, um, you know, that's going to be the battle. Let's check it. Let's jump through the back of the field as we see the 29 of Wishbone Attack falling back there. As the 49 of Jetman, I think he's getting his car figured back out as that turn off of, out, out of that turn is just a little bit treacherous to get the hammer down when you're down on the inside as he does take away that position from the 666 of Pistol Pete. So the 34 is Super Snake, not looking terrible as he dives down to the inside of the 88 of NM. NM does give him the room. So Super Snake on the outside is gonna be able to take that position away from the 88 of NM there. So not sure what was up with Super Snake's car, maybe damage. Jumping through this field. We do see the triple seven of Seabass to able to stay in front of his teammate, the double zero of Mudbone. As we see KFB battling right now with the 211 of Hawk. Battle on the track for the seventh position between KFB and the 211. This might open the door for the eight and the 72 to try to make a run on that 211 of Hogs. Also another good day for Douche Motorsports as they currently have one, two, three drivers in the top 10 right now. As we see KFB able to keep that position on the 211. And Hogs had a good run going last week, last couple weeks, but he was just 
I believe he was involved. He was involved in that caution and uh, took him out of the running. As we watch here later, the 420 of Queen of Hearts onto the backstretch chicane and into turn three, which is Speedway turn three here at Charlotte. So Speedway turn three and four as we head towards the front stretch, he's gonna dip into the front stretch chicane here. So again, good run for Aces to Zed Motorsports in the 420 of Queen of Hearts and the 13 of King of the Aces. So Queen still leads here at Charlotte with the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days in second. Third's going to be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Fourth's going to be the 13 of King of the Aces. And fifth will be the 25 of JTM. Followed somewhat closely by the three of Geek Girl Games. So both G3 Motorsports drivers in the top 10 here today. G3 still the leader in career points for the More Freedom Series. She's the leader in uh, also in career wins with five. So doing really good. She won, I believe, four races last season, which propelled her to the championship. And so far she's been skunked out of her win this season. Currently runs 14th in points, and she's actually moving up because she was in probably low 20s at, when we went to the uh, second half of the season and has steadily moved up now into 14th position. And I mean, you could say the same about JTM who was mired back in the mid 20s as well. And the second half of the season has just come alive for the 25 of JTM as we see the 40 of Veteran Chaos ducking off on the pit road for his scheduled stop. So nine laps to go here at Charlotte. We got pit stops underway. 40 of Veteran Chaos into the pits. Looks like the 329 of Heck of a Duber also pitted. So we'll keep up here with your leader, the 420 of Queen of Hearts, as she drives around the track here, followed closely by the 356 of Ice Cream some days. So with 12 laps to go, we're going to see if Queen and Ice Cream stick it out here, maybe for one additional lap, which should put them to the end of the feet, end of the race, I would think. As they're getting ready to catch up to the 356 of Ice Cream some days, but again, he is has pitted. Last people been on pit road so far, so we're gonna see. Looks like the 07 was in. Here comes the 356. She's in. Or, I'm sorry, the 420's in. The 356 is ice cream some days. Continuing on here, so we're gonna see if she can get a good lap without the 420 in front of her. She can get a good lap here and then get into the pits. She might be able to take over the lead. So we're gonna see if G3 Motorsports can get their drivers in and out of the pits in a very, very good time. As you see her car owner, Geek Girl Games does stay out and is also gonna, I mean, they're at this point, they're trying to make it to the end of this race. And I think with uh, where they are on the track with 11 laps to go, I believe this will be their only pit stop of the day. And I would say the same for Queen of Hearts that this would probably be her only pit stop of the day as they work on to turn one and two, Speedway turn one and two. Gets that Publix Chevy, Publix Chevy, gets that hammer down as he head towards the backstretch chicane here at Charlotte. So, and then she's gonna head into Speedway three and four before she probably is gonna come into the pits here. So the 356 of Ice Cream some days needs a good pit stop. And it looks like she is coming into the pits, so we're gonna follow her down pit road. And I think we're gonna see the 211 and the 71 both come in. So it looks like the 211 did get around the 71 at Kung Fu Beer there. Slow pit road here at Charlotte as Ice Cream takes us down to the very end of pit road. I believe she is in stall number one here. All 
all the way to end, pit, end of pit road is the 356 of ice cream some days right side tires going on to that public chevy for g3 motorsports looks like it's going to be a four tire stop for ice cream her crew is around they're putting the fuel in they're getting those tires on this should be her only stop this should send her to the end she's down and away her teammate the g3 the three of geek girl games also down and away looks like she's not going to beat out oh it's going to be a drag race but it looks like the 420 at queen of hearts is going to retain the lead here so that could be good for queen as a little bit not even that slow of a pit stop for the 356 just both had equally good pit stops here today so so we'll go through your current top 10 in a moment when everything uh, cycles through So Ice Cream needs to get those tires warmed up if she's going to even attempt to catch up to the 420 of Queen of Hearts. She's got contention by the 25 of JTM and the 13 of King of the Aces right now. So those are both on warm tires, so they got about an extra lap on them. Again, we have to see if actually your leader currently got to find him. So let's go through your current leaders right now. Your leader is currently the 34 of Super Snake. Second's going to be the 88 of NM. Third will be the 49 of Jetman. Fourth will be the 420 of Queen of Hearts. Fifth will be the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. Sixth will be the 13 of King of the Aces right now. So pitch strategy for that 34 of Super Snake. I'm not sure that's going to allow him to get to the end. Uh, I think he's going to have to pit one more time as that definitely, definitely is not going to get him to the end of this race. I mean, it's going to be close. He pitted on lap, like, he actually pitted on, like, lap two or three or something like that. So I know him and the 88 of NM and the 49 of Jetman are both, all three going to have to pit again, but... I mean, good strategy by this 34 of Super Snake to at least try to get, <clears throat> excuse me, a, a lap lead. So we'll see the 420 of Queen of Hearts take back over the lead here in just a moment. Again, a great restart by that 420 at Queen of Hearts after that early caution involving the 49 of Jetman after he bounced off the outside wall and slid into the 33 of Harvey Jones. Just up in the marbles there. So Queen with that great restart over the 356 of Ice Cream some days was able to pull out to the lead and is able to keep that lead right now as she's up about three seconds on the 356 of ice cream someday. So Queen can almost cruise to the end here for Aces to Z Motorsports. So it could be a good points day for that Aces to Z Motorsports team. They currently run third in the points and they're actually about, I wanna say 83 points behind Douche Motorsports who currently runs number one which again is very odd to say after the first three seasons of MBR winning the points championship, Douche Motorsports definitely has come to play here today or this season as they brought six drivers to the series this year and have really just done their best to, to stay with and now surpass MBR as MBR has just had a rough second half to their season as we saw the 49 of Jetman, the 88 of NM, both drop out of the top 10 in points. NM, who was in top five, I do believe, is now dropped to 16th in the points as he currently runs 18th on the track. So checking in on your points leader, the 20 of Adam B5000 currently runs in the 16th position. So we'll jump back here. We'll see where Adam is. Actually, we'll check in on Double Zero of Mudbone, who runs in the 13th position. 
Mudbone is 50, 49 points behind the 20 of Adam B5000 for the points lead. So even a couple positions here. So it's like three positions. And I mean, a few points here, a few points there. And that can be the championship, you know. That, that's what happens here in the More Freedom Series. But Mudbone currently runs... In the 13th position, again, the 20 of Adam B5000, he currently runs back here in the 16th position. So just a few positions up on, is that double zero Mudbone? The 544 Frederick Winklebaum runs 22nd right now. So we may see the double zero of Mudbone flip-flop with the 544 Frederick Winklebaum again. We'll should catch up to Winkle here as he runs back here with the 40 of Veteran Chaos. So Vet must have had a rough pit stop. Maybe had to do some damage control on that on that Ford for Kager Racing. He has fallen back to the 19th position. The 999 of Deviant listed currently 28th. 21st, I mean. The 88 of NM listed 19th. So he should have a few laps fresher tires, be able to kind of go through the field a little bit as we catch up to your leader. The 356 of Ice Cream some days with about six laps to go here at Charlotte. She's got a two point, a two second lead over second place. The 356 of Ice Cream some days. Ice Cream is made up about a second in the last handful laps. So, I mean, theoretically it's possible that Ice Cream can catch up here and pull out and possibly win this race, but it's going to be a long road to hoe for that 356 of Ice Cream some days as we see her coming into that chicane. I'm not sure if we just saw somebody on pit road. We do. We see the 329 of Heck of Duber is pitting. So concerning for some of these drivers as Duber pitted on lap number nine. And so we may see some folks dropping into the pits so maybe those one or two laps by the 356 and the 420 that could be beneficial so Duber does pit again he's going to have two pit stops under his belt falls to the last place right now but we're going to see if anybody else takes, gets into the pits here so we'll catch back up to that 420 at Queen of Hearts As she's led the most laps here today at Charlotte, we'll check to see who led at halfway, um, which would be very close, because that would have been lap 11. So it would have been very close to nine. I think it might have been her or ice cream led at halfway, but we'll make sure that we get those five bonus points for leading at halfway to the correct person. And if she led at halfway, she would get 15 bonus points, five for leading a lap, five for leading a halfway, and five for leading the most laps. As we see, Ice Cream is closed in by about a half a second here. So we are getting close to where if Queen's going to pit, she's going to pit within the next three laps, I feel like. As we got about five laps to go here at Charlotte, we saw Duber came in on lap number nine and actually pitted eight laps later. So I'm sure that those pace laps definitely helped extend his gas mileage, but I don't know. We're gonna see if that's the case where they're gonna pit in eight laps or if they're gonna pit, or if they're going all the way to the end here. So fuel strategy is gonna come into play possibly here at Charlotte as Ice Cream knocks about another half second off that lap, that lead by the 420 of Queen of Hearts. So her tires must be, just, she's got everything working right now as we go into the backstretch chicane. Ice Cream inching ever so close to the 420 here. Queen's probably hoping that Red Bull, <laughs> that Red Boy, to Red Bull Toyota, grows some wings and flies away from the 356. As look how close she is right now through the front stretch chicane. Good run off of that chicane turn down into turn one here. So 
So the battle on the track for the lead is shaping up to be a good one here in the last three or four laps as Ice Cream has now just made it less than a car length right now between herself and the 420 of Queen of Hearts. Catching Queen is one thing. As I always say, catching Queen, catching the leader is one thing, passing the leader is another story. So Ice Cream has absolutely driven the wheels off of that public Chevy for G3 Motorsports because she, she gets a good run. Loses a little bit of time. I think she was thinking about a pass there into Speedway 1 as we head through Speedway 1 and 2 towards the backstretch and the backstretch chicane. Down into the, on the binders, down into the backstretch chicane comes the 356 and the 420. So she might be losing a little bit of time there through those turns. So you can see that gap grows. So a good run through the backstretch chicane by the 420 of Queen of Hearts. As we got about two laps to go, I do believe we will have two or three laps to go here. So your battle for the lead between the 356 and the 420 rages here at Charlotte for the Charlotte Rojo Lady here in the waning laps of this race. That's the 420 of Queen of Hearts barely leads right now over the 356 of Ice Cream some days. Ice Cream may have some uh, may have to deal with the 13 of King of the Aces here. So Ice Cream thinking about jumping down to the inside of the 420 as they head towards Speedway 1. Ice Cream does. She's working down to the inside. She's got the hammer down. She's down to the inside of the 420 at Queen of Hearts into Speedway 2 and 3, 1 and 3, 1, one and 2 down the back stretch, heading for that back stretch chicane. The 356 of Ice Cream some days down to the inside of the 420 at Queen of Hearts. She's going to have a good run through this chicane. She's going to slide a little bit. Looks like she might take over the lead here. The 13 and King of the Aces. Looks like he's going to take advantage. He's going to slide to the inside of his teammates. The 420 and Queen of Hearts. So your leader here is the 356 of Ice Cream some days with two laps to go, I do believe. You see both the 420 and the 13 duck into the pits. And... We're going to see, with two laps to go, is Ice Cream some days going to be able to pull out this win and extend her gas mileage one additional lap from everybody else and win this race. So I know that everybody in G3 Motorsports has got their fingers crossed right now as both their drivers run one and two on the track, the 356 and the 3. So the car owner running in second position could be her almost either tie or be her highest finish of the season as Ice Cream works to win, I believe, her second or third race of the season now. And I would assume that if she comes in, it's going to be a splash and go for the 356. And uh, we, don't, we don't know. We don't know what's going to happen, but we're headed into Speedway 3 and 4, and we're about to find out if the 356 of Ice Cream some days is going to keep that hammer down. And she's going to keep the hammer down. She's staying out on the track, folks. She is trying to push her car to its limits right now after she ran down the 420 at Queen of Hearts, able to take that lead back with two laps to go. The 356 of Ice Cream some days is trying to pull off an amazing fuel run and an amazing win here at the Charlotte Roval 80, as well as her teammate and car owner, the three of Geek Girl Games. So this could be a huge, huge shakeup in the top 10 here. as the double zero of Mudbone up to fifth position. So we see the 356 of Ice Cream some days into Speedway one and two right now as she runs behind the 29 of Wishbone Attack. 
As we do see, the 34 Super Snake is now out of the race. Looks like he blew his engine. So thankfully, no late race caution as a result of Super Snake blowing his engine. So tough break for the 34 of Super Snake. As we see the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days in the Speedway, three and four for the final time. Hammer down, she is driven a fantastic race, able to run down that 420 at Queen of Hearts. She's coming into the final chicane, headed towards the stripe. Your winner today here at Charlotte for the Charlotte Robo 80 is the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. Wow, unexpected fuel run win. Had a great car underneath her, but able to run that car to the very brink and keep it out on the track. So we'll see if she has any fuel left for the end of the, to make it even into the pits. But let's go through your finishing top 10. Again, your winner is the 356 of Ice Cream Someday. Second's going to be the 3 of Geek Girl Games. Third will be the 211 of Hogs. Fourth will be the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. Fifth will be the 00 of Mudbone. Sixth will be the 88 of NM. Seventh will be the 999 of Deviant. Eighth will be the 49 of Jetman. Ninth will be the 13 of King of the Aces. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 420 of Queen of Hearts. So, wow, what a race here today at Charlotte for the Charlotte Roval 80. Uh, next week, we head to the Super, the what is it, the <laughs> Worldwide Race? I don't know. We're going to Daytona. Next week, the Daytona 75. So, we're going to see if Mudbone can go for a three-peat on the Daytona races as he won the Daytona 75, the Daytona 100. And we'll see if he can win the Daytona 75 again this season. Let's take a look at your points as the double zero of Mudbone finishes fifth and the 20 of Adam B5000 actually is going to finish 20th. So that may be enough to put Mudbone back into the lead of the points. But you're seeing all that right here on the screen. Let's also check in on your team and chassis standings as Douche Motorsports does get a driver into the top five couple drivers for MBR in the top 10 so you're seeing those points as well again congratulations here today to the 356 of ice cream someday she is your winner here at Charlotte for this Charlotte Roval 80 a fantastic run by her a fantastic job by her crew to get her out and then she was able to just run down your leader of the 420 at Queen of Hearts and able to keep get great fuel mileage there at the end as well as her teammate the three of geek girl games and her car owner so congratulations to g3 motorsports congratulations to the five the three five six of ice cream some days and until next week at daytona take care <laughs>